Hey guys, it's Simon here and I'm back at it with another addition to my long run series. I just hit one mile and I have 12 to go. So how far am I running today? A half marathon. Today's video features how today is dubbed Records Day, a major life decision I'm about to make, and also a deep reflection of my 5K PR that happened last Sunday. Two miles in, 11 more to go. That's not that far, right? Let me tell you how today is going down in the history books as Records Day. Firstly, this is my eighth half marathon of all time, my first time ever doing three in a year, and my first time ever doing two in a month. This is also gonna be my third time ever running over two hours, so that's a very long run for me. This run is gonna get me to my fifth 150 mile month of all time, my first time ever doing back-to-back -back 150 months, and my most mileage in September ever. 5K in, only 10 miles to go. That's not bad, that's the distance of my normal long run. Let's pretend like we're starting now. Beginning workout. Depending on your definition of record, seven events are going on today. Four of them being first timers for me. George Washington sign, now entering Lanesboro. Four miles in, nine miles left. This run's honestly going by pretty quick. You cannot tell me that October isn't the best month. You got all these awesome, scary decorations, Halloween, of course you got my birthday. But you know, I'm such a big horror movie fan. This is the best month, spooky season's upon us. I honestly love running. It makes me physically confident, gives me mental clarity because I have time to think for myself, and of course, it boosts my ego. Back into pity is my home city. Five miles in, eight to go. The major life decision in question is actually switching my majors for college. I have never known what I wanted to do as a career, but I know I wanted to work in the science field. So when I entered college as a freshman, I entered as a biology major. The 90 minute ride to school has given me a lot of time to think. And the other day, I think I had an epiphany. I was thinking to myself, wait, I really love exercise. I wrote a paper on the science of running. Whenever I find out something cool about exercise, I tell my family. It's something I'm very passionate about. And as you can see, I'm exercising right now. This is what I upload YouTube videos about. So as of recently, I've really wanted to become an exercise scientist. I'm not sure the exact job that I want, but I know the career path I want to take. Instead of just general science, which is very broad, I've narrowed it down to something in the exercise field. Now, I don't want to be impulsive and switch right away. I definitely want to continue to think about this, and I'm giving myself at least two months. Besides, I can't change my classes this semester anyway, so I'm going to have to stick it out with what I have. So I'm thinking of switching to a health science major with a concentration in sports medicine and a minor in biology. Not only does that sound much better on a transcript for grad school, but I'm also going to be taking a lot of cool classes in the health science program that I wouldn't take in the biology program. On the contrary, if I switch my major, there's a lot of classes that biology students take that I honestly don't really want to. As you can see, the courses in that major really interest me. Since I would be switching my major, my degree completion percentage will go down. That means to graduate on time, I'll have a very heavy course load or I might even have to do an extra semester. Even if that's the case, I feel like the benefits outweigh the risks. Something I'm taking into consideration is that the biology major will most likely get me into the grad school program that I want. But at the same time, it might not check off the prerequisites. I love to learn about exercise. And finally, after 20 years of my life, I think I have finally found my true passion in the career path that I want to take. I'll definitely keep you posted for if I do switch my major. But anyways, we're six miles into this run, seven to go. All right, we are halfway through this run. We are at a quarter marathon, 6.55 miles. Let's turn around and do that whole thing over again. Something new that I'm about to try at halfway, which I'm at right now, is a gel. Normally on long runs, I have to plan it where I have to make a stop at my house or run by my house to pick up a water bottle drink it while I'm running a half lap and then throw it away. But I didn't want to do loops near my house. I wanted to run a quarter marathon out and quarter marathon back. So it's time to try this gel. I'll let you know how I like it. First ever gel experience. Very positive one. I'll give it a five out of five. Dude, it tasted so good. It was like a snack mid run. The flavor of choice was raspberry lemonade. And honestly, I want more. I'm hungry now. The first time my dad ever tried one, it was mid-race. And remember, never do something new on race day. Sounds like we just hit seven miles, six to go. Anyways, my dad said it was pasty and it wasn't very good. 
and honestly hindered his performance. I have to add that the gel is pretty thick, it is pretty pasty, and it would be very hard to do while running at PR pace. But this is why you practice things before race day. Let's see if this gel gives me an energy boost and sits well in my stomach. If so, I might have to go buy a whole bunch more for my Sunday long runs. If it was a hot summer day and I had dry mouth and I took that gel without water, yeah, that would hinder my performance too. Eight miles in, five to go. We're making great progress. Let's keep this moving. Back into Lanesboro for a little bit. In terms of routes, I like to discuss the three types of runs that I go on. Firstly, the one that I go on the most are out and backs. This is the one that I'm doing today. You run a certain distance, like 6.55, you turn around and you do the exact same thing back. Personally, this is my favorite because you know the exact amount of mileage you're gonna get. If you run five miles out, you have to go five miles back and get 10. The next one, I don't do too often, but I like to do on long runs. That's a loop. If you don't know the size of the loop, you might not know how much mileage you're gonna get, which can honestly be really fun. This run's really cool because you're getting a change of scenery throughout the entire run. You don't run to a certain spot and turn around. You just do a whole loop. The third run that I do like once or maybe twice a month is an irregular route. These routes have no rhyme or reason. You're running from street to street. You might be exploring. They can be kind of fun. My 15 miler was that kind, but I don't do that too often. Now it's important to note that all of these routes can be either planned or unplanned. Nine miles in, four miles to go. We got this. The aftertaste of that raspberry lemonade gel is honestly so good. I'm gonna be truthful with you. I'm starting to get pretty tired. George Washington sign, by Lanesboro, back in Pittsfield. Let's go home. Let's go 10 miles into this run. This is how long my normal long runs are. We got a 5K left. Speaking of 5Ks, even though I have a race that's a 10K in about two weeks, I wanna reflect upon my PR last Sunday. If you took a peek at the video, you could tell that my confidence was at an all-time high. The anticipation was so high. I was waiting four years for that moment. I was not gonna let my chance of a 5K PR slip away from me. During the run, I was never worried, even though I wasn't hitting my paces the way I wanted to. My first kilometer was 404, which would put me at 2020 for the 5K. Even at halfway, I think I hit 1005, so that would have been a 2010 5K. But from all the muscle I built from the workouts I did leading up to that moment, from the grit that has been passed down to me by my dad, from the toughness I've earned from the long distance run. I push as hard as I can during that last kilometer to not only get a 1K PR, but also a 5K PR in 1915. I am still riding high on that performance. That was the first day of fall, and I know that this autumn season is going to be a killer one for me. I did six weeks of killer training for that 5K PR, where I did workouts that I crushed the paces. I knew, I guaranteed that I was gonna get a 5K PR. I just didn't know I was gonna get it by 40 seconds. Now on to the next objective, which is to get a 10K PR. I don't have as much time to train as hard, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but if I do get a PR, it's gonna be by like one or two seconds. 11 miles in, just over two to go. Remember when we were only two miles in, we had 11 miles to go? We got this, let's finish strong. Oh God, look at this hill. It just keeps going and going and going. It's never ending. 12 miles down, just one more to go. Please take me home. Oh geez, I am exceptionally gassed up. When I pulled up to Berkshire Running Center, the kind lady gave me a very basic rundown of the science and when to take the gel. She also helped me pick out the one I wanted and then it was on the house. I don't think a store has ever given me anything for free. Kindness warms my heart. This is the positive benefits of the running community. This run really zoomed by like I did for my 5K PR, but I am so tired. I don't think I can run another step. 13 miles in, let's finish off this half marathon strong. Final statistics, records day completed. First back-to-back -back 150 months. Half marathon, 115 September, 115 August, new September PR, let's go. Records day completed, I am a beast. Here's my free energy gel packet. Raspberry lemonade, mmm, it tasted so good. 450 milligrams of amino acids, which are the building blocks to protein. 55 milligrams of sodium, didn't really need too much because I don't really sweat when I go slow. No caffeine because I don't drink coffee. Where it really shines is the 100 calories and the 23 grams of total carbs. 
Now it's your turn to run, or this girl will come haunt your dreams. All right, I just updated a bunch of things on the board. For my dad, he ran his 44th platinum today, 100 miles. He has 324 total medals. Me, I ran my fifth 150, 287 total medals. We both ran a Sunday 10K. He's at 122, I'm at 66. I also got my monthly 150 streak finally to two. Last but not least, I got my September PR 2024 150.6. Let's go. Half marathon pancakes. I have officially died and been reborn. I'm so proud of how the season's been going this far. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.